Hi, I'm Mark with Skycom Solutions, and today we're going to talk about the difference between a self-identification greeting and a voicemail greeting on 3CX. A voicemail greeting is what we're all used to leaving on our phones to tell the user why you're unavailable and they can leave a message after the tone. This can be long or short, it depends on what you like and that's what the customer will hear leaving a message. A self-identification message is just your name. This will be played back when a caller uses the dial by name function to locate you in their directory in order to confirm which extension they are calling in the event of a similar last name with another user. Let's use John Smith and Brad Smithers as examples. When a caller presses 764 to use SMI, the system will then play back both self-identification message and then you can choose the correct one. This is why it's important not to add, hi, this is John Smith with the company. The self-identification message, just say your name, John Smith. To get into your extensions options, you had to enter your personal identification number or your PIN. If you don't know this, check with your administrator to get that. So now we're gonna jump into the example of setting your self-identification greeting. Depending on your phone system in your company, you might use three or four digit extensions. So based off that, you'll either hit 999 or 9999 to get into your voicemail. Over here on this phone, I'm set up as John Smith. It's a three digit system. I will press 999 to enter the system and we will set our self ID greeting. Please enter personal identification number, then press pound. You have no messages. Press star to play. Press nine for options. To, ex to play messages, press star. To change your profile status, press one. To dial a number, press three. To delete all red messages, press four. To change your self-identification message, press five. To record new self-identification message, press zero. To delete message, press Record your self-identification message, then press pound. John Smith. To save message, press zero. To re your self-identification message saved. And that's all there is to it. Now we're gonna set your voicemail greeting. This is what the users hear when you unfortunately miss the call. Again, we use a three digit extension system here. So we dial 999 to get into our voicemail options. Please enter personal identification number, then press pound. You have no messages. Press star to play, press nine for options. To exit, to play messages, press star. To change your profile status, press one. To dial a number, press three. To delete all red messages, press four. To change your self-identification message, press five. To play mailbox information, press six. To change voicemail pin number, press seven. To change your greeting message, press eight. To record new greeting message, press zero. To restore standard message, press one. Record your greeting message, then press pound. Hello, you've reached John Smith with Acme Company. Sorry I missed your call. Please leave a message. To save message, press zero. To re your greeting message saved. It's important to remember to hit zero after you do your recording to save the recording into the system. As mentioned, the self-identification greeting is just your name and your voicemail greeting is what your users will hear when you miss their call. Now that we've set our self-identification greeting, I will use the dial by name system here to show you an example of what it sounds like when two users have similar last names. Thank you for calling Acme Inc. Dial by name, press zero. And to reach our receptionist, press one. Please enter the first three letters of the last name of the person you are trying to contact. So we'll do S M I. To call to John Smith. Press zero. To call to Brad Smithers. Press one. To exit, press. 
Hey, this is Brad Smithers. Sorry I missed you. Please leave a message after the tone. Thank you. And that's all there is to it. So because both those users had set their self-identification messages, it allowed the 3CX system to play those back to you so you can confirm who you want to reach. A user that does not have a self-identification greeting will not appear in the dial by name system. So that's why it is important to take half a minute and set this up. It's something that you just have to set once unless your name changes in the future. So I hope this information was really helpful. If you would like to have more information about different 3CX functions, check out our playlist here. And if you wanna learn about what a UPS is, click here.